What's going on everyone? It's Fuzzy. Welcome back to yet another MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty team build. The player of the month squad is officially here and it is going to be led by 299s. The brand new 99 overall player of the month, Lightning Fernando Tatis. You guys can see all of his stats. He is absolutely insane. If you put him at second base, he actually becomes the best second baseman in the game over Rogers Hornsby. So just a fun little fact from Fuzzy. And then also, 99 Nicholas Castellanos has one of the best offensive cards and swings in the entire game. You could put him at third base, but for the sake of today's video, we're going to go ahead and stick him at right field. We have Jesse Winkler and lefty player of the month Cody Bellinger from 2017 that makes me feel old we are currently ranked 832 I played one of the sweatiest games of my entire life a couple days ago we got the W I just don't want to lose this game because team builds you're always at a disadvantage and I really want to make World Series, man. We're going to start the gameplay in just a second, but before we do, I have a quick word from today's sponsor. I'm sure that all of you watching this video have heard of Raid Shadow Legends, whether it's from Shelfie or Coogs. They all love playing this game. One, because it's free to download, whether you're on iPhone, Android, or on PC, but the graphics are absolutely nuts. One of my favorite features about this game, as you guys know I love playing MLB The Show, I can actually autoplay what I'm doing on raid you can play at home or you can auto play and still grind missions and get armor and everything done and the september update i promise you guys it's going to be worth it the new september update is going to tweak and refine about 20 different champions to make pvp a little bit more competitive i went with kale because he does damage and another september update is the fact that forge is coming you can craft with just a few buttons and get back in the action you also get 200,000 silver and a brand new champion if you use the link in the video description down below if you're new to raid they will be available for the next 30 days just hit the treasure chest i'll see you on the battlefield we're gonna have the 99 james paxton on the bump and then bring in all of the other guys he has ooh, he has james paxton as well but he's got the prestige version along with ty cobb his creative player and a full god squad if he sends me a friendly quit you know i'm accepting it Okay, he's gonna go, he's gonna go to second 100%. Dang it, man, after a six pitch AB, he's getting a double with Ty Cobb. We're up for a pretty good fight today. Dude, the amount of foul balls that I've already had in this one inning, I'm already upset. <sighs> Dear Lord, baby Jesus, please protect me. I don't know who, oh wait, Jesse Winker in 26 speed. This is gonna be a rough day for my outfielders. I'm hoping that Bellinger catches everything. Oh, that's a good pitch. Let's go, big time K from Paxton. No, that was, that was a, that was Fernando Tatis. Okay, that, all right, good pitch. And hmm, Bryce Harper ropes it to right field. Yo, this has been a crazy long inning, and it's already it's only the first. Somehow this man has been able to foul off almost everything that I have thrown today. Please hit this cutter. I mean, like hit my spot. Don't hit it. Thank you. He hit it. It was a good result, you know what I mean. So we have Cody Bellinger, Fernando Tatis, and Brandon Lau. Uh, Tatis and Lau are all making their debuts. But Cody Bellinger is, oh yes! He is still going to be, in my opinion, the best player on the squad, unless Tatis has a buttery smooth swing. This 98 prestige Bellinger is ridiculous. And he strikes me out, good change up. Brandon Lau, Brandon Lau with a pretty much perfect home run minus the timing. Where did that go? I'm not joking when I say this. I might have just found my second baseman of the future. Craig Biggio might have to take his seat for a few games. And then Nick Castellanos is going. Okay, that's where, that's where Fernando Tatis is going to separate himself from Ernie Banks. That right there makes him the best shortstop in the game. I'm not going to get a quick inning out of this guy, am I? He's going to put up a fight the entire game. Mm, that is a big time out from James Paxton. I am always awful against Buster Posey because he's a monster against lefties and anyone else in the game. Thank you. Oh, man. I had a 3-2 and two count against his pitcher. I thought he was about to get mad cheesy. I should put on button defense. Okay, let me do that real quick. This man has made me throw... Okay, uh, get the easy out of second base. 9 Yeah, that's too much. He's made me throw 43 pitches through two innings. That's got to be a record for me. Here we go. The brand new Luke Voigt is at the dish. I love his swing. Let's see what he can do. 
Oh my, Luke Foy with the perfect home run to center field. That 125 pop. Luke Foy just hit it out of the stadium. You know, I don't want to replay because I believe in karma, but if I ever wanted to, it would be on that swing right there. And we're going to make the play. Correa over there is going to throw out his creative player. I don't even remember his name, but we get one down. That's exactly what should happen when you put a cutter right down the middle to one of the best power hitters of all time. Yeah, you should get a perfect home run every single time. Attaboy Cody. All right, I guess uh, 108 power means nothing. Come on, Fernando. I got a little bit too swing happy. I got my fastball and I was just, how am I early on 98? This sucks. Good pitch and we get Dylan Carlson, who destroys lefties, he pops up to Jesse Winker over there in left field. I do not want to have anyone hit it out there. His 26 feet scares me. Just get the heck away from me. Buster Posey needs to get banned. Double play. Actually, we can only get the one. All right. We'll get the force out or the easy out, whatever it is. Who sometimes I can only put gibberish out there because I get so afraid of the pitch I'm throwing. Whew, we get out of it. At a boy, at a boy, Castellanos is gonna come in clutch. 61 speed. Uh, we're gonna stay at first base. I know Cobb kind of has a noodle arm, but he got it there on the fly, so I respect it. Ooh, he walked me. He walked me to get to Luke Voigt. How have I been very early on fastballs and back-to-back -back innings? What is wrong with me? Attaboy, do not catch that. Do not catch that. Mm. All right, guys, three to two going into the top of the fifth. On the 69th pitch of the game, he takes me deep and Babe Ruth is about to do it again. Just kidding, Correa's got Elastic arms, he's stretchy. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, guys, so because this man has been able to foul off 87 pitches today, I did have to start warming up the bullpen, but we strike out Fernando Tatis on that 99 fastball. Oh, I wasn't really underneath that one, but you know, the game's gonna go ahead and give it to him. All right, guys, we're gonna bring in Hector Neris. We're probably gonna give up some runs. There we go. I almost screamed. <gasps> Dude, catch it, my man. I'm throwing this up. Yes, I am. Yo, that was supposed to be way higher. What are we doing here? That didn't go anywhere up. Dude, what is wrong with this game? Why does it say perfect pitch or good release if it's not going to do that? Ty Cobb was ready for that fastball. I cannot believe that Buster Posey was able to hit that pitch because of the game. I put it above the zone, had good release, and then it just fit right in at the top of the zone, right where is it? <laughs> Whatever. Get, don't, okay, at least that's a foul ball. I have a feeling that we're about to hit a home run with Brandon Lau. He's gonna throw a cutter or something. Yep, he threw the cutter. We're gonna take it. I just missed it, didn't I? Is it gonna be warning track or did that leave? Please, please, please. Oh my God, I almost just called my shot. We just walked him. Babe Ruth is coming up now. I mean, it can't get any worse. We're gonna bring in James Karinczak because we're trying to go with the player of the month team build. This is not good, man. This is not good at all. Hey Bryce, just. Just please spare me, thank you. I am terrified. I am absolutely one pot, one million percent terrified. Dude, this is unreal, man. All right, Jesse Winker is not the move. Uh, throw it, come on. Dude, Jesse Winker in left field is not the move. There we go. All right, guys, we're down by three. We still have the bottom of the 7th, 8th, and ninth, so we have some wiggle room, but I can't give up any more runs. He has 11 base hits to my 4. 
All right, thank you, Luke. I appreciate you. Is that enough? 29 speed. I'm not going to try it. I'm just not going to. And then I ground into a double play because Yasmani has seven speed. I missed the fastball right down the middle. I, I can't even begin to describe the anger I feel right now. There we go. Jesse Winker, he brings in the player of the month, Jesse Winker, and he grounds out to Fernando Tatis. All right. I like what I'm seeing. Get there, Cody. That's why I have you out there. All right. A flawless eighth inning for James Karinchak. I really like that card so far. His, his curveball has a lot of depth to it. His fastball is pretty fast, obviously. He brings in the 97 Arolas Chapman. Um, all right. Attaboy, Carlos. That ball's gone. That ball is 100% gone. Okay, a uh, a perfect 102 fastball from Carlos Correa is a double. At least we're on base. Oh, I can't even advance the runner. <clears throat> uh, no. All right. Okay, this is going to be Fernando's last AB of the game. <sighs> I'm not going to win this game. I'm not going to win this game. I mean, thank you, all right. Edwin, what's his name, Edwin? Yeah, Edwin, I almost said Eddie. Edwin gets his second out of the inning. We lay him a, I shouldn't be throwing this. I should not be throwing this. All right, and Bryce Harper almost goes yard, just misses it. All right, I'm gonna focus up. Hopefully we can tie the game or something. That's, that's fine. I'm not winning. And Jesse Winker on a pretty good swing. We fly out. All right, guys. Well, we do lose that game. Thank you all so much for watching. Just, in my opinion, heartbreaking because we did not get on base with Fernando Tatis. We lose the game and we end our streak. I mean, this is why you don't do team builds against nerds like this. I mean, tip my cap. The guy played great. But, come on.